this is the Steel Series Apex 350, and I can already tell just by looking at this that um, I have a feeling it's going to be better than better than the Razer. What we're going to go ahead and do is open this thing up. Hopefully, I can open it, and I might. We'll start here. We can talk about we can talk about the backside first. Might as well expand your arsenal with an integrated two-port USB 2.0 hub. So uh, unfortunately, it's not 3.0 hub on the back there, but can't really complain. It's a keyboard giving you extra ports. Uh, it's just pretty cool. Dedicated volume mute and media keys. Never alt tab out of your game again. Cool. Uh, I like that. It's a nice feature. Uh, there was a keyboard I saw where it had like a little roll wheel. Um, great. I mean, this serves the same purpose. I don't care if it's a wheel or not. At least it has that feature out there, to be honest. Uh, let's see, this is this is cool. Uh, basically, it's just showing here that you have extra buttons there instead of the regular, you know, you have the diagonal, which is great. I mean, I think that's that's awesome. Uh, let's see. There's this thing about text macro, so I won't know until I start messing around with it. Um, game with your critical macros. Build them on the fly or go crazy with your advanced editor. So this looks like some kind of language code. I don't know that language, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty advanced. Uh, assuming I can figure that out. Uh, remap all keys and swap between unlimited profiles and settings with a single key press. So, um, remap all... Wow. So this is saying that your arsenal does not just include the little macro keys on there. You can uh, map any key, I guess. And unlimited settings. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to like create uh, whatever kind of key combination you want and it will do some crazy stuff for you. Uh, let's see here. Have confidence in every key press powered by a 20 key anti-ghosting. So uh, I'm not too sure what that means but I'll find out. I think it means that uh, one macro running will not overlap. How do I say this? It won't interfere with another macro. Something like that. Uh, I think that's what it means. Uh, play faster, play longer, low profiles, low profile keys and optimized layout makes every keystroke effortless. Um, sure. Oh, the profile, the low profile. I thought that was pretty cool too. And we'll find out more about that once I open it up. Match any gear setup with true RGB spectrum. Uh, illumination in five zones. Very cool. So that, I think that's a huge feature right there. That one right there. Because imagine you're gaming, right? Um, you don't want everything to be the same color. If you can have this stuff over here be a different color than this stuff, that's pretty cool because like your focus, like when you're thinking about hitting a macro, you don't want to be, you don't want it to be the same color because you might confuse it or something or you might accidentally hit the wrong key. If it's totally offset, your peripheral vision will pick that up. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's get into this Steel Series unboxing. And I don't really care the length of the video. I like going over stuff if I can help it. If I can help it. Um, and I was really anxious. I was trying to say that. I was really anxious to open this up. So anxious that I almost skipped making this whole video, but um, uh, I also figured that I don't know how to say this. Like, I think this is like, in my opinion, this. I'm really. I didn't just go out and buy this keyboard just because. I was actually, I was actually researching um, a, a lot about macro keyboards, gaming keyboards. Um, the runner-up in this purchase 
was the Razer, like Black Widow or the whatever it is, the Razer Ultimate keyboard. And I ended up getting this instead for several reasons. One of the reasons is the low profile. Uh, another reason is the the macros, the macro blah, possibilities with this are pretty insane. I don't know what these are. I'm pretty sure these are little buffer pads on the bottom that create like a raised. It's a little instruction booklet. Cool little decals. If you can't see this one down here, it's just a white version of the same thing. Um, decals are cool. Razer includes them on like all their products. Ergonomic wrist rest. That's another feature. So here's the wrist. I'll, I'll do a close up on that. Uh, yeah, so there's really nothing in here that's too complex at all. Big competitor to Razer. You know what Razer likes to tout often is their threaded threaded nylon cable. Well, look here. We have a nice threaded nylon cable. And yeah, that is a big feature because if, when you go out and buy a keyboard, right, and you buy a whatever, generic BS keyboard, they come. They don't come with these fancy cables. They come with just those regular old plastic cables. Well, those plastic cables, that's a sign of like cheap stuff. So this is a sign of quality. Let me get a close up on this. Maybe I can get to focus. There it is. See that? That's a sign of quality right there. And there are some gaming keyboards that don't even come with, with the threaded cables. All right. Unveiling the Steel Series. Um, so you're looking at it right now. I'm looking at it right now. We obviously don't we don't see the lights because it's not plugged in. So that's okay. We'll get to see that later. Um, the shape of this thing is is awesome. It's very awesome. Um, I like all those videos out there that show oh the top ten, the top whatever 2017. Uh, keyboards. Let me see if I can get some more light on this. So all those videos, right? I watched them all. And I didn't see any of them revealing this keyboard. And I I had I didn't even know about this keyboard, to be honest. I didn't know about it. I was actually walking through the store and I saw it, you know, I saw it there right next to the Right next to the Razer Black Widow. I'm going to make a lot of comparison to Razer because that was my first. I, I'm a big fan of Razer. My mouse is Razer. I got the Razer Nostromo. Those are two awesome products. And so it was hard for me to to move away from Razer to get this Steel Series. And uh, one of the key things in my decision was was this, right? I know I can remap all the keys. I get that. And you could probably remap all the keys on the uh, on the Razer keyboard. You could probably remap all the keys. I would hope so because there was the Black Widow, right? It only had like it only had like like this row right here. That's it. And if you're searching for a keyboard, you probably already know what I'm talking about. It's got that row. It doesn't have any of this. It doesn't have any of this. This is this is huge. They've got. M1, M2, M3, M4, all the F keys have an M key above it. That's crazy. The escape key is a little bit in a new location, but that's okay. And then you got this group of L keys up here. Just having these MX keys would be cool, but now they've gone above and beyond and they got the L keys and the M keys. I don't know any other keyboard that does this. I know one of the features on the on I know one of the features on the keyboards was they would say, "Oh, you could you could like you could do this with your with your cable and you could like push it in there, right?" Okay, is that really a feature, really? Whatever. That was not really a feature in my opinion. Um, here's another feature right here. This is kind of a it, it's it'll get dismissed by a lot of people, I'm sure. This um, ergonomic wrist resting area.
All right, so software is loaded up and we're inside the SteelSeries Engine 3 now. It's already detected the Apex 350, which is the only SteelSeries device that I have plugged in right now. I'm gonna go back to the default right there. So this is the default setting. And you can see how the keys are set up like uh, these are a red color your home keys basic keyboard is all red and if we go over here your MX keys are an orange color and if I go to layer 2 it turns everything blue or a turquoise color everything including this Steel Series logo everything has a turquoise color to it even the sides here okay everything is turquoise on layer 2 and if I go to layer 3 um, colors change a little bit more they're a little bit um, segregated colors layer 4 pretty cool I wonder if I can customize I'm gonna open up Apex 350 here and there you go this is insane what if I push alt oh my god wow this keyboard I'm floored uh, the options here are insane beyond wow this is way better than what um, what Razer has going on this is crazy um, what is this pulling rate? I don't even know. The luminosity? Oh wow. Let's turn that back up. So that's partially lit. This is it like halfway lit? Like this is fully lit? Okay, cool. Turn it all off. Wow. Turn it all on. Bing. That's crazy. Macro editor. What if I want to mess with the colors? Oh, okay. Here's your colors. Custom colors. Let's change the color. Is it like a live preview? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Um, let's make the keys green. That's cool. Uh, let's make it. That's good. That's a good color. I like the keys being green. And let's make uh, let's make these colors over here. How about we make those red? The keys up here. Um, what color should we make them? Uh, blue um, or yellow, maybe. Somewhat stands out. We can change the color of the steel series. How about red? Yeah, that's cool. And this, when I change the color of the Steel Series, the side changes too. Um, just to show you, I'll go uh, yellow, red. Red looks cool. So, um, yeah, the rest of it's going to take some learning myself, and I'm not going to go that into depth on this review. I'm just going to cover what I covered already. Um, you already understand the possibilities uh, so thank you for watching this review um, and I hope you got something out of it we haven't gone over the macros but you're gonna have to like just subscribe because that video is gonna come out soon and I will do macro tutorials thanks for watching and have a great day